Scale patterns, triads, arpeggios, and theory, these are all important for developing your skills as a lead guitarist, but outside of those obvious areas of practice, what else should you be working on to break out of your soloing rut and to start improvising with confidence? Well, one thing you could start doing today is to practice an improvisation technique used by just about every blues guitarist who ever lived. Take a look at this clip of two of the most legendary guitar players of all time trading licks on stage. That's B.B. King and Gary Moore demonstrating the power of what we're going to look at in today's lesson, that being the art of call and response. Notice how in that clip, it sounds like the two of them are having a conversation without talking. One plays a lick that sounds like a statement or a question, and the other plays something back that sounds like an answer, like a response. That is what call and response is. And the cool thing about it is that you don't need two guitar players to practice it. In fact, most blues guitar players use call and response to develop their solos to great effect, even when they're the only guitarist on stage. For example, I actually used the call and response technique myself in the opening solo to this video. So let's take another listen to that. Before we continue on, if you're new to my channel, my name is Ross Campbell. I'm a guitarist from Scotland, now living in Nashville, Tennessee. And if you are an intermediate guitarist looking for some new practice material to sink your teeth into, I have a free two and a half hour long soloing course that you can get instant access to via the link in the description box beneath the video. So this was my opening phrase. A simple A minor pentatonic lick. That's the call, that's my opening statement. And I played that twice and each time I responded a little differently. Repeating the same lick and answering with a slightly different response each time, it gives your solos a conversational feel. And take note of how I answer the call each time. I'm trying my best to make the response sound like a natural continuation of what was just played. And the way you do that is to mimic the general vibe and mood of the call. So the opening statement was pretty laid back. And so if I responded with something that was very fast paced and aggressive like this. That just immediately kills the vibe of the conversation. If you did that on stage with another guitarist, that would immediately tell everyone in the crowd that you are not actually listening to what's going on. You're not aware of what would be appropriate to play in response to the other guitarist. So when you practice this at home, Play as if you are two guitar players listening intently to each other and make efforts to complement each other by responding with something that sounds appropriate, a phrase that is in line with the mood and vibe of what was just played. I want you to try this now with me. I'm gonna play over the backing track again and I'll be guitarist one. I'll play the call a few times and I want you to respond with your own licks. Okay, so you can rewind that part of the video to practice responding to my call as many times as needed. But to give you some inspiration for your practice, I'll play the same licks again, but this time I'm gonna add in a response to every call that I play.
I'll leave a link to the backing track in the description box if you want to practice this on your own. And be sure to grab my free intermediate soloing course, which is linked in the description box and pinned comment beneath the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.